Hey guys, how's it going? My name is George and this is I Suck at Meteor. Uh, the purpose of this channel is to create basic Meteor tutorials of just kind of bare bones projects to give you something to work with if you're new to Meteor. Um, I started working with Meteor about a month and a half ago and started with JavaScript too. And a lot of times I would follow along with the tutorial and it'd become more and more and more advanced. And I'd kind of do a whole tutorial then wouldn't really know how to do anything on my own. So the purpose of this channel is to just build some basic Meteor projects and give you something to work with. Alright, so to show you what we're going to build today, um, this is it. You're just going to click on Dig Gold and it's going to increment the number. Um, this is slightly different from the default Meteor application you get when you create a new project because what this is doing is it's, um, it's taking this uh, number and it's updating it from the database. So it's a, little, it's a bit more complicated, but um, yeah, we'll go through everything. Um, so go to your, I'm going to go to my command line and press control C to stop the project. I'm going to go up uh, directory by doing cd space dot dot and I'm going to create a new project. Fun two two. Um, cd to your new project and then Meteor to start. Alright, I'm going to switch to my text editor. I use brackets. I just like the colors it gives and a couple features. Okay, I'm just going to take the JavaScript and HTML file today. That's all we're going to work with. Um, no styling, no point. Um, I'm going to delete, oh, actually before I delete it, I'll just show you the, this is the default Meteor application. Um, it looks like it's doing the same thing as our project, except it's not storing this number in a database. Um, it's just using a session set and session get. So when you refresh it, this one, um, this one goes back to zero, but ours is going to store it in the database, which is pretty useful. Um, so back to our media application. I'm just going to delete the um, delete the inside of is client. I'll leave that. Save it. Um, I'm just going to delete everything in here, just to show you step by step how I do it. Um, I wrote out here in plain English um, what I'm doing step by step, kind of for myself. But um, you'll have access to this if you like it. I'm going to put this all in GitHub so you can check it out. Um, check it out in the uh, description of this video. Um, the features of Meteor we're going to use today are these. It's helpers, events, um, insert collection, update collection, session set, and session get. Um, yeah, so we'll get a good bit today and pretty simple too. So we're going to create a new template. Um, we're going to name it dig. Um, and we're going to create a button side. Type equals button. Um, value equals dig dig gold ah, like exciting and then we'll do a class of uh, dig all right now we have that button we need to include it in the body with our spacebar syntax dig all right and we'll switch over just to show you that it appears and there we go dig gold all right so now we're going to switch to the JavaScript file and to begin with, we're going to create a new collection, and we're going to call it Total Gold. Um, meteor. Here, oh shit! I can't type. There we go. There's our new Meteor collection, and in this startup block, we're going to make it so um, if when you start your Meteor project, there isn't anything in the database, it's going to just give you a total of zero to start counting from. So we're going to say if total gold dot find up count um, equals zero, zero. If it equals zero, do stuff. Um, that stuff we're going to do is total gold dot insert Alright, so um, total gold insert is yeah, just inserting um, data and this our data is gonna be called total. Yeah, inserting that into the database. So we've created our new uh, our new collection called total gold, and then in this is gonna run on the startup and it's gonna check to see if total gold is empty, and if total gold is empty, we're gonna insert a total of zero into it. Alright, so now we want, if we go check out our project, we still have 
nothing. We should we don't have, even have a zero yet here. So in order to do that, we need to create a helper. Dot dig dot helper. Um, and we're gonna call our helper um, return gold amount. All right, and that's gonna be a function. And that function's going to return oops, total gold. Okay, so this is gonna look through the database um, and for total gold, and re which consists of just this, and it's gonna return that zero. Um, but it's not gonna return it until we include this helper into our HTML file. So we need to go back to the HTML file. Um, and we need to use the each control structure, which normally is used for looping through. Like if you have, um, if you're going to loop through items in your collection, um, you would like, you print them out. But it's the only way I know how to do this right now. So we're going to do that. So you do each and each slash each, um, and then we need to put the total. I need to do each return gold amount. Remember I suck at Meteor. <laughs> amount. Okay. Now let's go back to here. Refresh. All right, great. So now at least this is pulling from the database. It's returning it from our help. Our helper function is returning it. So let's switch back to here. Um, so, okay. So now back to our JavaScript file. And, um, we're going to work on the event. So now, template.dig.events. Okay. Oops. Um, and then when, okay, so when you click on the dig, the dig button, we want the total to increase. So we're going to click dot dig. That's the class dig. And dig, we're going to run a function. Um, so, when you, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a session. Um, we're going to set a session. Um, session dot set, and we're just going to call it total ID. Oops. Um, oops. I need to do. We need to call it quotes total ID, and this dot underscore ID. I'll show you what this means in a minute. Okay, in our console here, if you type in um, total gold find fetch, that'll get you a show up as one object, and that'll basically show you what's in your collection. And so all we have is total, and you have this ID, this is this long number. This that ID is that long number, and so we're gonna set that long number to total ID, and then we're gonna do session.get. Uh, session dot get uh, total ID. Um, just to check that we're getting the right uh, session, we're gonna um, console dot log this whole session thing. So when you when you click on dig gold, that gets the ID. Console log, and instead we're going to we're gonna do the update function. So this is total gold. Oops, total gold dot update. So to run this update function, you pass in the session, and then we're going to, this inc is an increment, and total one, we're incrementing it by one. And yeah, so this is, there's, there's like, um, for collections, you can do, like insert, remove, update. Um, this one is obviously update. It's incrementing by one. All right. So we're gonna save it. Go back to the browser. Refresh. And now when we press the gold, it increases. Yep. So that's what we're looking for. And now that this is kind of um, this is something that you could definitely use in another, another project, and it's a basic example. But um, if you haven't ever worked with update. Now you kind of can see how this um, update thing works. 
you're updating the database um, by total of one, which is here. And that's it. Pretty simple start to a meteor application. I hope you enjoyed this and check out my other tutorials.